watching an agenda special from Patna. This show actually comes to you from a place called Bollywood Treats in the city. It is a restaurant and an activity center with pool tables, with things to eat. It's also got video game consoles. And a lot of people have been telling me it's where they come in the evening when they want to relax and play with their friends. Uh, a sign also a place of changing times. The restaurant was opened three years ago, so it really is uh, a product of the new Bihar that people talked about. Now, these young people, many of them first time voters, they form our agenda audience today. And what's being talked about, of course, in this entire election is the fact that the youth vote. And that's what we actually spoke with to NDA's top leader and finance minister, Mr. Arun Jaitley, who said that this election, unlike previous ones in Bihar, is not about arithmetic, but about chemistry. Let's take a look at what he said. At this point, is there kind of, a, you know, are you taking stock of the campaign so far of the NDA? And if you are, are there any changes that you uh, plan halfway through the campaign? Well, there's no question of a change. Uh, uh, we are doing uh, reasonably well. We are quite comfortably placed. And I think our electoral strategy of uh, putting our, our whole might into the campaign and conveying the message to the voters in Bihar across the state that uh, uh, change is inevitable and change is necessary for Bihar. We are contesting this election on a developmental plank. This is an aspirational election for Bihar because Bihar is a land of lost opportunities. And that's why you see a lot of uh, enthusiasm amongst the youth here. And I think this election is all going to turn around that. You talk about aspirations, sir. You talk about youth. And we saw one of the major statistics is a large number of youth electorate. And yet, one of the things that seems to be shadowing the entire election is what the RSS chief, Mohan Bhagwaji, said. The prime minister, in his latest uh, speech, talked about the fact that there could be some kind of conspiracy at work, that some people are trying to, uh, you know, kind of change the narrative. You see, first of all, the RSS chief uh, never spoke against reservations. He clarified that. Yes. And in his subsequent Vijay Dashmi speech, he clarified he how, about a review, sir. how they are they are, they are they are absolutely committed to reservations itself. The fact is that right since 1991, ever since the OBC reservation came, BJP has always been a strongest supporter of it. And that is why, even though our opponents tried to make uh, the politics of the 90s into Mandal versus Kamandal, both of them were with us. So the backward caste communities in North India, UP, etc., Madhya Pradesh, heavily voted for us. And uh, they couldn't convert that into an issue. I think uh, in Bihar for the Mahagat Bandhan, the developmental card collapsed the day Lalu Yadav joined the alliance. And therefore, with the images of the Jangal Raj, they had to give up the developmental agenda. And therefore, they were in search for an issue. And if you analyze the JDU-RJD campaign, a tweet a day on something which is happening anywhere in the world, so just rent an issue for a day and sustain your campaign for that day on that issue, that seems to be the broad thrust of the campaign. And I think uh, uh, the fact that youth is being attracted to the BJP in large numbers, Modiji's rallies uh, uh, have such large number of young people, women attending those rallies, itself uh, indicates that the aspirational undercurrent is with the NDA. Lalu Yadav ji talks about the whole caste equation and you have Nitish Kumar, someone who has seen to have brought, finally brought development to the state, talking about Vikas. Is that a kind of see, comment and how does the NDA counter that, I sir? Think, I think uh, 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 RJD and Lalu Yadav uh, uh, negate the idea of a development because their belief is, and they are the vital force behind that alliance. And therefore, those who are committed to a developmental agenda have completely drifted away from that alliance. I can tell you this election is not about arithmetic, that A will bring this vote and B will bring this vote. This election is about chemistry. And the chemistry in this election is certainly on our side. The Prime Minister's chemistry. 
it was on our side in 2014 it will be on our side in 2015 what about the chemistry of two young men that is lalu yadav sons who are also trying to talk about development so and you talked about youth and apparently a lot of young people are flocking to them i said what do you and you know them also sir because one of them is a cricketer no 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 i uh, the young uh, budding uh, uh, political heirs of a, of a, of a bihar dynasty uh, uh, but uh, i think aspiration is not about promoting youngsters from a family this is a mistake congress has conventionally made you see the ultimately in an aspirational india this whole dichotomy between merit and dynasty will continue and i think one of the problems with dynasty always is that the popularity of a political party is always coexistent with the strength of the current member of the dynasty congress has suffered on account of that and therefore we must realize that in an aspirational india people will throw up their own leaders how was president obama thrown up by the people there not many world over had heard of him uh, for a few uh, till a few years after the before the elections modi ji was thrown up like this and therefore coming up on the strength of merely surnames and families I think we'll give you only a limited boost. So, who is the NDA's aspirational young leader in Bihar, sir? You see, NDA has a, a very large number of uh, seasoned leaders. Take BJP for instance. We have uh, uh, a veteran like Dr. C. P. Thakur. We have Sushil Modi, who's uh, one of our most important faces. We have Nand Kishore Yadav. We have Ashwini Kumar Chaube. They they represent different facets. we have a large number of young ministers uh, uh, upcoming uh, very good ministers at the center rajiv rudi is there ravi shankar is there and others are there plus our combination also represents aspirations of community so jitram manji itself though a senior leader is uh, represents an aspiration of a community ram bilas paswan represents the aspirations of his fraternity so i uh, one of the things that this uh, the opposition has been bringing out over here um, you know whether it's the young men tejasvi and tej pratap is that they you know they are trying to play on the fact that what has happened in dadri they try to play on the fact what happened in haryana the little children's killing do you think sir it will have an impact in a large country like india hmm. a dispute between two households that's the that's the kind of a dispute in haryana it's unfortunate it's condemnable but how does that become an election issue in bihar you see that means the desperation is so much the lack of issue on your side is so much that you try and convert an interpersonal rivalry which has taken place uh, 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 amongst two households in uh, haryana into a state level issue in bihar a thousand kilometers away so there seems to be an fragile atmosphere now that yesterday when the police was actually responding to a phone call the police commissioner came on said and he was responding to a phone call it was seen as a crackdown on meet on kerala house and the chief minister of kerala also came in it became a huge issue sir i think uh, these are over reactions uh, is the responsibility of the police to make sure that law and order is maintained that no group is able to create a panic and if the police does its responsibility i don't think uh, anybody should over react to that will this have any impact at all in bihar sir do you reckon well uh, there as i said there is uh, a difference between actual news and channel driven news it's a part of the channel driven news what do you see as the factor that will affect the But large let's be clear on the women yeah it's no the indication the outnumbered men in the first phase sir and that's an that's that's a conclusive proof of nitish kumar's failure really because, how is that sir because men have all gone to other states to work the reason why more women are voting here is there are no job opportunities in bihar and therefore you go into household village after village and you will find that men are in gone to delhi men have gone to calcutta men have gone to mumbai the people are going other places so it is not as you people superficially see that women have become more conscious in bihar than men have bihar men are also politically very conscious but the fact that the economy of the bihar of bihar is dependent on uh people going out and working for lack of job opportunities that is the reason why women voting conventionally in bihar has been a percent or two more than men voting
But hasn't it traditionally been like that? So it's called a post money order economy and obviously, things like that. But so will Ritesh bear the uh, you know fallout of that? You see, you have ten years of opportunity. Lalu had fifteen years of opportunity, and twenty-five years is a generation, and you couldn't change the scenario. You so couldn't I, get in ten years. You couldn't get a single industry to come and set shop in India, Bihar. If there is one winning idea that is going to be the defining factor for all of you in the polls, what is that, sir? I think the winning idea is that last twenty-five years things haven't worked, and therefore the central government and the state government now must act in unison. Set up a proper infrastructure. Set up an educational network. Get industries to be established. In the first instance, it will be agro-based industries, and get Bihar moving. Just as some of the other Bimaru states of the past, Madhya Pradesh, for example, have got moving.